guys. We have another little comfort food segment tonight. I figured I'd do. Um, I'm making shepherd's pie. And in this version of it, um, I just put in one pound of ground beef, one medium-sized onion, and about four of these whole mushrooms here. And I sliced, washed them, of course, and sliced them. And I put the mushrooms in last, after the beef was cooked and the onions were turning translucent. And I just put those in, just till they get soft. And that's going to be the bottom base of my shepherd's pie. And then, I have these huge russet potatoes. And let me just show you the size of, look at the size of these babies, like, compared to my hand. They are huge. So I cooked about, uh, I mean, I cut about maybe two of these big ones and then a smaller one. I cubed them all up and I put them in here. I, I kind of like almost diced them so they cook faster. And I have two cream sweet corn cans of that that I'm going to be putting in this. And this is looking good. I'm sorry if my camera's all over the place. onions have to, I mean, those mushrooms have to cook up a little bit more. And then it'll be ready to dump in the bottom. Mmm, it smells so good. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drain the fat out of that, you know, any fat that's in the bottom. And I'm going to add this, better than bouillon. It's the beef flavor. It's called beef base. Just a tiny, like, a teaspoon of water. And I'm going to put that in and make like a beefy base. So, let me just come back in one second. This is like an iced teaspoon that I'm using. And I'm putting in some water, warm water, about a teaspoon. A tablespoon, actually. And just kind of swirl that around. And then, and then you smell that really beefy flavor, like that beefy gravy flavor. Coating all the mushrooms nice. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so I just took a um, corningware dish and, uh, you know, like a covered casserole dish. And I sprayed a little bit of Pam in it and poured the meat mixture. And that's all set. Now, I'm going to dump two cans of cream corn over the top of this. Like that. Now I'm just going to go check on my potatoes. So the potatoes still have a little bit longer to go. You want them tender so that you can mash them and put them on the top. So I whipped up my potatoes, dumped them over the top. All you're going to do is spread it out like this over to the edges, right over your cream of corn, creamed corn, whatever you call it, whatever. And there you go. And I'll show you what I love to do on this. I like to put cheese on the top. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I put the cheese on. I do it like, kind of like a little trellis. Or, no, not a trellis. <laughs> I have gardening on my mind. A lattice, like a lattice work trellis. Yeah, I'm going to grow roses over it. Anyways, yeah, so I put that on the top. And then I'm going to put on some paprika and some parsley flakes. Okay. So there we go. And now I'm just going to pop it in the oven. So I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I have the oven heating up to 375. So i got to wait till it dings. And then once it turns 375, I'll pop this in. Seeing everything is already cooked in it, you know, the potatoes are already cooked and mashed. The corn is the only thing that hasn't been heated up. And the meat is still 
warm and the mushrooms and onions and all that. So the only thing that's really going to heat up is the corn in the middle. So the way I gauge this is once this these um, cheese slices on top um, start getting like a golden brown bubbly, that's when I take it out and then it's done.